So Fauchon Hospitality is actually a branch of the Fauchon uh, Maison, who was created uh, 130 years ago in, in Paris. And that's actually a quite funny story because uh, Fauchon, uh, as a gastronomic brand, was founded as a supplier of fine food uh, by a, a, a guy from Normandy coming to Paris every Sunday to actually, with his food truck, he was the inventor of a food truck, uh, was catering the capital uh, with very exquisite and selected product. And 130 years later, this is still what we are doing on the same actually location in Paris, but also in 50 different uh, uh, countries in the world. So, uh, based on this legacy, uh, five years ago, we said uh, the real way actually to immerse our client into the Fauchon universe would be to create a hotel. And a hotel is part of this world of hospitality, but we've been in the world of hospitality with uh, cafes and tea salons already for 50 years. And especially in Japan, where we have also pastry shops and bakeries, uh, actually uh, being the vivid example of uh, what our sense of hospitality is about. So it's a, it's a natural. This extension of the brand is absolutely natural. So what we bring to the world of, uh, of Boutique Hotel is, uh, is our legacy in food and beverage. That, that's a very difficult question because I used to work for uh, different kind of luxury brands for Louis Vuitton, Van Cleef & Arpels, Rolet Chateau also. Uh, so I, I have a definition of luxury which is about creating a dream. That there should be an element of um, uh, exceptional in, in the word luxury, but also, also delivering on the dream. And, and in, in this uh, industry, in, in, in hospitality, delivering is 80% of the success. So I would say that luxury is also making sure that every day, every second, it's about delivering. And sometimes in our industry, things are taken for granted, things that are quite basic, but that are not always very consistent. I, I think that what has changed is uh, there is a trend, uh, it's been on the market maybe for 15 years, which is about copying the leader, copying the success, copying what is in the, in, in the, in the, in the times, in the ambiance, etc. And, and I would oppose to that the fact of running the risk to be different. It's a risk, but the counterpart of running the risk is to be uh, yourself, sustainable in time, and, and long-standing successful. And, and uh, uh, I, I would say that uh, our, our ways of perceiving luxury or high-end product is uh, also about uh, making sure that it's not only a differentiation point that you have like at the time of opening, but you keep always. So it's a mindset more than just a charter of quality. So it's true that there, there's been a lot of new brands and even an acceleration of new brands in the, in the last few years. Um, there's a strategy among the big players consisting in saying the more brands, the more covering of the market, which is both wrong and right at the same time, because uh, the capacity of this brand to be uh, replaced by another one is very high. And with an investor, is not willing to be with the same group anymore, he could find the equivalent in another, another group. And actually the guests would not even see the difference, which is a bit worrying, because especially in luxury uh, uh, hospitality, you want the exceptional, you want something different from the others. So I think there's a great future for brands with an element of difference. And, but you have to work on it and you have to run the risk of it. And this is where investors and operators are not willing always to run this risk. The fact that we consider that a room is a place where you should enjoy 
uh, a way of life and not just a way of sleeping is, is a bit disruptive because the trend now is to say, okay, uh, let's have the room as just a place to sleep and that's it. In our hotel in Paris, we've made actually each room a place for a great dinner. So there is always a table and two proper chairs where you can enjoy a, a, a dining experience with two people. There is always an interesting view on the city, uh, but there is not always a desk. And this is a parti pris and you can't have everything. So you run a risk of being one thing and not the other. So this is where we are a bit disruptive here. Another example is by saying we love room service, which we call actually chef service. We are very disruptive because most of hoteliers don't want to be bothered with this anymore. We think that it's a way to please the people, to deliver other satisfaction to an extent than just a, a blunt room cannot deliver. That's a, a bit of dis a disruption as well. So yes, you can be disruptive, but you can be uh, smartly disruptive and, and making a true difference because being disruptive is not a, a, an attitude, is it, it should deliver something concrete at the end of the day. Yeah, we, we like to be maybe also a bit uh, disruptive in terms of location. The, the, the key capitals of the world are quite well covered, and sometimes even over covered with uh, hotels. Um, but we, we like also to bring um, an, an element of novelty to a collection of hotels widespread on the globe, like a city like a I give you a few examples in Japan, for example, where we are very well known, uh, Fukuoka or Osaka uh, are cities which are very different from, uh, from Tokyo. Uh, could be uh, uh, Malaga in Spain, could be Vienna in Austria, uh, could be uh, Austin uh, in, in America, uh, on top of uh, more obvious kind of destination like, uh, like LA and Beverly Hills, for example. So, referring to your point, the, the, the good partnership uh, when it comes to developing such a, a collection is really about finding the right, the right uh, investor and the right operator. So we bring the brand, we bring the know-how, we bring the legacy, we bring a great collection of products um, and design. Uh, what we'd like to partner with is uh, in investor and operators who actually are not only uh, in respect actually of the kind of guidelines we provide, but co-creator. So, and this is key because we want every single of our hotels to be a unique place. So for example, the designer is systematically different, but inspired by us. And this is this kind of blend that we are actually looking forward to finding.